More and more companies, year on year, are targeting schools, looking for cost-effective and, uh, and very influential advertising. More and more companies, marketing departments, are looking at schools and seeing a very attractive niche market. Children by law have to attend schools. You know you'll get your audience there. They're a captive audience. They can't turn, on, turn down the sound or walk out when your ad comes on for independent newspapers. They are age segregated. They are class segregated in many cases. So you can target exactly who you want to target. More and more companies are doing it. To give you a flavour of the three main types of companies that are, that are doing it, that are partaking. First category would be uh, sales pitches to children. An example would be at second level, where AIB send in their staff to interview transition year and fifth year students for positions in the AIB branch in the school. And it's called the Build a Bank Challenge. And they quite brazenly say that they're going to hire students as sales and marketing executives. And the child who gets the job of sales and marketing officer, it's their job to promote AIB accounts and products to their peers in the school. We have a big difficulty with that because that's using children as unpaid workers for a commercial bank. Second type of common scheme is the uh, voucher scheme, whereby Tesco, Super Value, uh, independent newspapers or the uh, Irish Daily Mail uh, promise free equipment but only in return for massive amounts of token collection on the part of the school. These have become very popular and they are very big business. The only answer we ever received from Tesco uh, about how many vouchers they receive was back in 2004 they informed, they informed me that they received between 10 and 15 million vouchers for one particular promotion. Each of those vouchers cost 10 euro. That's 100 to 150 million euros worth of shopping processed through primary schools in 10 weeks. It's big business. And the third category is the sponsored uh, educational material. That's where we take uh, Renault agree to sponsor uh, the uh, seatbelt sheriff with the Road Safety Authority and promote road safety. But the, uh, the posters carry the Renault logo and the message, Renault, the safest car that you can drive. This is, on, this is for, intended for children of seven. The badges, the seatbelt sheriff badges to go on the children contain the Renault logo. The whole thing is emblazoned with logo, brand and slogan. So they're the three types and they're very prevalent. There's not a school that's not affected by them. As I said, the school was set up in 2002 and then about two years later when we were sort of got on top of organising all the policies, we decided to have an anti-commercialism policy as well in that we don't want the children to be used uh, for the advancement of any commercial products. We don't want any company coming in here selling their products through the captive audience of the children in the classroom. So we decided as uh, the Board of Management and the staff of the school, we decided that our school was going to be a non-commercialism school. So we, uh, we don't actually collect any tokens for any educational products that companies would provide, you know, through that kind of sponsorship or anything like that. We don't encourage parents to shop in a particular supermarket in order to collect tokens, in order to get, uh, we say, sports equipment for the school. We don't do any of that. Tokens, you had to collect something like 7,000 tokens to get the smallest thing, which I think was a digital camera, I can't remember the exact details now. And 7,000 tokens is a lot of tokens and you had to spend 10 euros to get one token. So that's an awful lot when you think about it. That's 70,000 euros worth yeah. of groceries. An awful lot. And like most kids would bring in two or three, you know, which are, you know, maybe f like maybe up to 10, maximum 10 kids would bring in. So like you were a long time collecting 7,000 and then somebody had to sit down and actually count them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tesco ever count them when you sent them in or not, but anyway, that's by the way, you know. But uh, it was such such a waste of time and so... Like, just the children bringing in these Tesco tokens and talking about Tesco all the time and talking about shopping in Tesco, you're going to shop in Tesco, you're going to get Tesco tokens for the school. They're almost putting pressure on each other. It was terrible. So we just decided we want to stop that and get that out of education because that's what not what education is about. Building for the Future is a sponsored competition which is only open to schools who promise to collect 20 tokens from every child. Uh, in the school and we have a severe we have a great difficulty with that because we feel that no school run competition should carry with it a commercial stipulation
based on what newspaper your parents read and how often they buy a newspaper. It shouldn't enter into it. So we're not prepared to spend our time, uh, which should be spent teaching children, collecting, counting and forwarding on, uh, essentially shopping receipts for independent newspapers. If any company wants to donate um, items of um, education and value for the school from a philanthropic point of view, no problem with that. And we'd be delighted if companies would, but we don't want any uh, products that would have a company logo. We don't want the school to be an environment where children are encouraged, even in a subliminal way, to be um, you know, you know, sort of more sympathetic towards a particular company than another one. We don't want that. So any products that uh, we buy for the school, we buy them ourselves, or any company wants to donate products, that's fine. But we don't allow companies in here to promote their products through the children collecting tokens or anything like that. And basically now what we do is any advertising we get, we put it straight in the bin. Anything we get with any logos on it, we put it straight in the bin. We don't collect any tokens. We're not interested in any kind of advertising at school at all. If a company's marketing department are targeting your school and looking for commercial kickbacks and to exploit the children in your care to give them targeted advertising, it's a very separate issue. We regard that as uh, an almost predatory approach to schools. And remember, we're talking about children as young as four and five years of age here. And we stand there as gatekeepers and we say it's our responsibility to say recession or not, uh, they're not for sale. They are not for sale, not for computer equipment, not for a football, there's no price on the children.